Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Final Fantasy Tactics playthrough series. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well today, my friends. So what kind of trouble are we getting into here today? Well, we are on the third and final battle of Limberry Castle. And if you saw the last episode, you would know that we learned a very powerful skill for Ramza. That is, of course, Ultima. So we're going to be rocking Guts as his secondary skill here. I want to use Ultima. I mean, it's a really fun spell to use. Very powerful as well. And obviously, secondarily, we stole the Masamune and the full Genji kits. We have the helmet, the armor, the gauntlet, and not represented here is, of course, the shield. But you're looking at sort of the newly shaped Ramza here. He reverted back to the samurai class and will be using that precious Masamune and Genji gear. I think it just makes sense. I want to master the samurai for Ramza here. He's kind of close, but got a little ways to go. So as far as today goes, we are getting into, like I said, the third and final battle, which features a fight with a monster, right? A Lukavi. And I've got the team set up. I think we're looking pretty good. So without further ado, why don't we just hop right on in? And while we're hopping in here, my friends, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, if you like the Final Fantasy Tactics and you don't want to miss an upload, then please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you in the community. You know, join the community that has been growing. Absolutely. And please also give the video a like if you're digging the throwback FFT content. We'd love to have you. So as far as our team comp goes, nothing crazy here, my friends. We got the same Stalwart 5. Got Roxy, the Time Mage with the healing. We got Stouty, the New King Black Mage. We got Colden, the Ninja Dude. We got Rivaldi, the Lancer. We got Ramza. Kind of already went over his kit. So let's go. And we have Underground Cemetery of Limberry Castle. So whenever you are prompted to go to the cemetery after a fight with a guy like Elmdor, I might use a little bit of caution with that proposition, right? But here we go. We find ourselves underground. And it looks like Elmdor is here. Ramza says, Elmdor, give up. You don't have a chance. Let Alma go. Oh, you fool. She's not in this castle. The only ones here are the spirits of the dead. And he wasn't lying when he said that, that's for sure. Your life shall also end here in this graveyard. We've come too far, Elmdor, to be laid to rest in a graveyard. But of course, as so many other boss fights, it includes a holy stone. And Elmdor is sacrificing his corporeal body to become what exactly? Well, a grotesque monster, of course. Zarella, let's settle this once and for all. Kind of looks like he has a jetpack on him. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Let's go. And who's this? So this is a familiar face. If you uh, remember Bervenia Free City. Malia Duel. What? The Marquis. A monster? Yeah, there's a lot to uh, kind of get you up to speed on here, Malia Duel. But, of course, the task at hand is to defeat Zalera. And this is one of the, you know, Zodiac Lukavi fights, right? There'll be a series of these throughout the game. So let's kind of see what we're working with here. First and foremost, let's check the guest on the field. No longer an enemy, but a guest. So Malia Duel is, of course, a Divine Knight and sports the very nice Save the Queen Knight Sword, which has Always Protect, 18 attack power, good evade on this thing as well. You can also dual hand it, so very, very strong weapon. And then, of course, the Mighty Sword Command. So we have one of each skeleton type, right? So this guy's the Aqua Soul, Thunder Soul, and Ice Soul. They're kind of a nuisance, and obviously they're undead, so they respawn. And then furthermore, we got some more undead available on the field here. So we have two undead knights with sword skill, interestingly enough. Knight Job Command, break skills using used to destroy equipment and parameters. So I mean, that makes sense, right? A Knight Job Command. However, the Knight Job Command is not called sword skill, so... I wonder if it's like a unique skill set. I guess I don't know. But they both have it. And they're both sporting pretty formidable attack. And then finally, we do have Zalera. And in typical Lukavi fashion, right? Everything is kind of blacked out. You cannot see the level, the HP, MP, or anything like that. However, Zalera is the Angel of Death. 
And it's not going to let me uh, read up on the status of the job, but the Angel of Death is our opponent here today. So let's go. Let's start things off with Roxy, of course. And let's see. I mean, we got a one-turn haste. Either that or we could look into something like a Protect. Or even a Holy on some of these guys. Let's see. 560. I don't like the idea of these guys on my 6. So let's just Holy them. And then Stouty, these guys don't like fire either. I'm going to do the honors 232. Yeah, it looks like fire 2 will get off here. 298. Looks good to me, Stouty. Let's go, buddy. Here comes the holy. The nuke from the heavens. Let's go. Kablam. 417 is no small hit, that's for sure. And Roxy levels up in face. Alright, Angel of Death, what do you got here? So he's going to come right on up and... Alright, use a Nightmare skill, which puts Stouty to sleep. However, it does suck him up into the battle, right? So now we can do things like melee attack him. I mean, the battle does end if we can manage to defeat Zalera, right? But maybe there's other opportunity here to... Have a little fun, perhaps. Let's get a couple of swings on him. Let's go. Alright, not bad. Alright, Malia Duel. This is the power of the Zodiac Stone. Yeah, you got a lot to catch up on, Malia Duel. Now you know what I said was true. Your brother Islu died because he found the truth and fought them. Oh, my God. Does Father Vormov know that? Well... Ha ha ha, so you're Vormov's daughter. Just like Izlud, your body isn't suitable for us. But your father's was. Then, father was... Yes, he's no longer your father. He's now a blood member of darkness. But no matter, for now you and Ramza will die here. Those are some big words from a dude that just causes you to have, you know, a couple of nightmares here and there, right? So here we go, Malia Duel, coming in with the potion. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> we'll certainly take that. We will be taking that, absolutely. All right, so Rivaldi is still sort of a budding Lancer, doesn't really have many of the jumps yet. Been sort of working up the Lancer skill tree with him. And the reason I want to use a Lancer is because of the Javelin too, right? The 30 attack power that it sports. I'd like to cause a little bit more mayhem before really focus firing on Zalera here. I mean, 330, 420. What a huge hit. My goodness. Alright, so the Knights are coming up to play. We got Malia Duel saying some things again. What you said was true. I'm sorry. It's okay, Malia Duel. Let's avenge Islude. In fact, at one point in time, we did offer Islude to join, right? If you remember that. I'd like to see a version of this game where, you know, Islude joins the Nightblade, right? Pretty cool job there, for sure. I'd like to know more about it, to be honest. All right, 196 on the Ultima. We could scream, we could... Does heal remove sleep? It doesn't. We could also dash. Nah, he's just out of range. Let's see, what's the turn order looking like? Uh, we got Roxy up next. Who can surely go and wake Stouty up. Alright, so let's see. I think it's completely fine. Let's get an Ultima on this fellow here. I mean, I'm not doing random battles in this, right? So it does benefit the team to try to eliminate the enemy as much as possible. It's just free JP. 
Well, I'm trying to limit random battles as much as possible is what I'm trying to say. I've definitely done some random battles, but I'm trying to limit them as much as possible, so... I'm trying to take the opportunities as I can in the story fights here. Alright, Malia Duel. It's getting up close and personal with a knife hand. Yikes. And it looks like she's uh, getting a lot of attention here from the skeletons. However, we got Aqua Soul coming in on Stouty, who takes the hit. But now they're bunched up for a fire spell for sure. Dropping down is just pure energy, Ultima. Let's go. Bam, 196. Big hit there. All right, we have Zalera. What are you going to do, Zalera? All right, more Nightmare. Death Sentence that time on Stouty. Okay. So I believe you can cure Death Sentence with Re-Raise. I'm pretty sure that just nullifies the effect. But what I want to do is I want to get this Knight out of here. So let's see if we can do it. It doesn't have any gear on, so might as well. Boom. All right, job level up in face. Let's go. All right, Stouty. This is what absolutely has to happen. I mean, do we just blow him up with a Fire 4? The answer is yes. Yep, vacate Malia Duel. In fact, if you want to just tap Roxy there, wake her up, that would be good. Obviously, I want to avoid equipment breaks. Let's see if he can get it done. Oh, yeah. He can get it done with that superior weaponry he's got. All right, here we go. The unnecessary fire four, but we got to bring it down. Let's go, Saudi. A thermonuclear explosion. Boom. Never stood a chance. Let's go. All right, Ramza. So draw out guts. I mean, you can throw a stone at Roxy here. Let's be gentle. 62 on the throw stone. Wow. Well, let's get up there just a little bit more. We can approach Zalera now. Everybody's down. A Stouty is looking at... Maybe a heal would be worth it. Let's go with the panel and get him up there. Roxy, how about a re-raise on Stouty? What does that look like? Five turns? 78%? I like that. Let's do it. Alright, Fairy coming down. Keep the units all healed up. All right, very nice. And let's see what Zalera does now. He's got some forward presence. So what does he do? He's going to fly over and continue to harass the individuals that are casting spells. Except for this time, it's death sentence and not sleep. So let's see if that re-raise can get off here or maybe the god just falls. I mean, he hasn't really done an attack yet, right? Yeah. So down goes Zalera. And obviously at this point in the game, right, we have the Javelin 2, we have the Masamune, we have the Sasuke Knife. I mean, we have a lot of really powerful weapons that we choose to utilize here, right? Very powerful spell casting team as well. So this guy doesn't really stand a chance as long as you've built your team properly, right? So Zarella, in his final word, says, Hashmalum, sorry, I'm leaving the rest to you. And we get the iconic explosion. And we collect another Zodiac Stone here in the story, my friends. Battle complete. Uh, 32k in the bank. And what do we have? All right, so we have Malia Duel and Ramza. Secrets hidden in the stone. I never dreamed. It may be divine, but I thought it was just a strange rock. I never thought collecting them would make a miracle. 
Neither you nor Islud were informed. Even Wegraf didn't know until he turned into Lukavi. So even the High Priest plot being used by Vormov. What are they after? That, I don't know. If they wanted to, they could destroy an entire brigade, just like at Ryalvanes. But they don't use that power outright. There must be a reason why. Maybe they can't use their power outright. The Lukavi of legend was an unbeatable, ferocious monster. That's right. They don't seem to be the immortal evils the legends say. Legends do tend to over-exaggerate. Maybe Lukavi was just another monster, after all. I hope so. Hands over the stone. I'm going to give you this Zodiac Stone. In return, let me go along. I want to know why my father... Besides... Besides? I want to know why he gave away the Capricorn Stone. Why it was given to Lord Dysidarg. I need to know. To my brother? Why? That's a great question. And that's what we're going to be delving into next here, my friends. So let's go ahead and add Malia Duel to the party. It's more like adding the Save the Queen to the party, if I'm being honest. We will have to dismiss. So let's see. Who can we get rid of? Who can we offload here? I mean, Porky, we still haven't even sniffed a wild boar. I believe there's an egg occupying the last inventory slot. This Hyudra, I mean... So if I think about it, right, the reason we have this guy is to try to poach the Hydra, which is the black-scaled version of the Hyudra, right? In hopes of getting that rubber costume. But we haven't gotten many and we haven't had much luck. We can encounter the Hydras in the Deep Dungeon. So I think this guy is the realistic removal from the party. Making space for Malia Duel, who brings with her, like we said... Save the queen. Now we are sticking with our organic party, right? Not using special characters in this particular playthrough. But of course there is one more character to add. So the next stop, my friends, is going to be... Egros Castle. You can see the note is red there, so that's going to be the next stop. We'll find ourselves in another battle gauntlet there. And then following the events at Egros Castle, we'll be able to actually complete... The side quest. And then, pretty much, we're sitting at the end game after that. I mean, we're pretty close to the end game after that. Which will, of course, feature the deep dungeon, which I certainly intend to do here on the channel. I want to get all the treasures and show you where to find them. So this game is a labor of love for me, right? It's one of my favorites, probably my favorite of all time, if I'm being honest, right? And when I thought about starting a YouTube channel, I was like, well, what am I going to do? Like, what games do I want to play? And obviously the thought of playing games that you enjoy really came to mind. And, you know, FFT was right at the top of the list. So it's mainly a labor of love for me, right? It doesn't do as well as some other videos or series on the channel, but that's okay. However, if you're enjoying the Final Fantasy Tactics, leave a comment. Let me know what you're enjoying about it. Leave a like. I really would appreciate that. Thank you so much. And before we go here, my friends, if you want to become a subscriber to the channel, you know, you can ensure that you will not miss an FFT upload here. But we're also playing all kinds of other games here on the channel that might interest you. So do check it out. Become a subscriber. Lock that in. I got them all on nice, neat little playlists. So check those out. You can also join our Discord server if you like. There is a great community there. We just kind of opened it up to doing some community game nights. So if that sounds interesting to you, then consider joining the Discord as well. We'd love to have you. So with that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here. Again, we have Egros up next, and then into completing the side quest, and then onto the deep dungeon, and then onto the end game. So once again, thanks so much for spending some time here on the channel. I'm going to get on out of here, and I'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.